Greetings, Citizen Airmen from McConnell Air Force Base located in Wichita, Kansas. I'm here visiting the newly redesignated 931st Air Refueling Wing, associate unit of the Active Duty's 22nd Air Refueling Wing. At McConnell, the 931st shares responsibilities for aircraft maintenance and flying operations for the largest KC-135 base in the Air Force. McConnell was also selected as the first main operating base for the new KC-46A Pegasus tanker, scheduled to arrive about a year from now. The base is a hub of activity with the construction of three new hangars, a maintenance training facility, and various projects to promote the growth of the 931st Air Refueling Wings by over 400 personnel. Crews and maintainers are already training to be the part of the initial test and evaluation operations which will occur here shortly after the delivery of the first KC-46 aircraft. When finished, the base will house 36 KC-46 tankers flown by three reserve and three active duty flying squadrons. The 931st Air Refueling Group was established in 1963 as a troop carrier group operating C-119 aircraft. Over the years, the 931st Air Refueling Group flew a number of aircraft, including the C-119 Flying Boxcars, the AC-37 uh, Dragonfly, and eventually the KC-135 Strata Tanker, until the unit was inactivated in 1987. The group stood up again in 1995 as the first associate tanker unit in the Air Force, and on March 5th of this year, it was redesignated as the 931st Air Refueling Wing. The contributions of the 931st Air Refueling Wing are vital to the global mission of McConnell Air Force Base. The integration of reservists and the active duty component is key to the success of this installation. As a testament to these contributions, three weeks ago, the total force at McConnell was recognized by the local community with the Spirit of Wichita Award. This award, given to organizations that have exhibited strength of employment, leadership, innovation, and community involvement. McConnell's Total Force Partnership was highlighted at the ceremony on April 7th of this year and included members from the 22nd Air Refueling Wing and the 184th Intelligence Wing from the Kansas Air National Guard. The role of the 931st Air Refueling Wing at McConnell shows no signs of slowing down especially when it comes to their deployments. The airmen of the 931st Air Refueling Wing are contributing day in and day out to their Air Force mission around the globe. The average length of a deployment has been about 93 days. Between June and January, the unit will have deployed more than 250 airmen to multiple locations worldwide. These deployments will allow the 931st to showcase their air refueling skills. Within the past two years, these skills have been expanded to include receiver, tanker, or pilot training in the preparation for the arrival of the KC-46 Pegasus. Though the KC-46 isn't scheduled to arrive until the spring of 2017, pilots from the 18th Air Refueling Squadron are already preparing for the new airframe by performing challenging receiver tanker training. This is vital as the KC-46 will have the ability to refuel and take on fuel while in flight. To date, the program has certified eight RT pilots requiring roughly 20 flight hours per pilot. These pilots are now able to assist to train other pilots, both in the reserve and active duty, as they fly together on a daily basis. In closing, I just wanna say that I look forward to seeing the 931st grow as a wing. I'm proud of what the citizen airmen of the 931st have accomplished, both stateside and worldwide. There are great things on the horizon, and I can't wait to see what you'll bring to the table. So until next time, go forth and conquer.